what if i can tell you that these five important qualities will make you a good software tester hey guys my name is pramod and welcome to testing academy let's discuss about these important five advice uh, that basically i have learned from my mentors i'm going to discuss with you guys even if you're a fresher or experienced person trust me this they will help you a lot as a software tester all right so let's jump into it awesome uh let me pull up my marker okay let's let's see what is the advice number 1 okay uh so advice is basically says that uh learn automation as early as possible even even if you hate programming right so this is one of the advice that uh, my my mentor one of my mentor has given me and i was starting right uh so i was into essential right and uh, i was doing manual testing at the time and uh, there was a ment- uh, mentor who was in who uh who is who was a basically a qa lead at the time and and he had around of uh, 15 plus year years of experience in qa at the time and he said one thing to me which is basically promote even if you hate programming even if you hate programming please learn automation because this will be your future you will get better salary better work secure you will have a more secure future so i'm not discouraging any of the manual tester but i'm saying if possible please please switch to learn start learning automation and even if you want to switch uh, even if you want to proceed your career in manual testing become an sne which is basically subject matter expert of that product okay so for example if it is a web application become a subject at sme of that pro- related to web testing on right become sme to uh, mobile testing on the become a sme to the e-commerce related websites only so that's what you have to do okay i hope that advice number 1 is clear right advice number 2 is prepare document is important preparing document is very important which basically says that uh, even if you are a automation tester even if you are a manual tester you have to prepare test plan test cases bug report and examples you can see my other videos where i have discussed about how to create a test plan test cases test scenario bug reports and everything there right uh, you can check them uh, in the testing academy channel but uh, this is very important because uh, documentation will help you to present your work in front of stakeholders okay and even if they are not asking it if you present the documents they will be very happy that you have done some testing and this is the proof that you have okay so this is the advice number 2 and this is again the quality of a good software tester also awesome let's jump into the advice number 3 which is basically always communicate to the stakeholder this is i this is very important guys because and let me tell you why uh, because many many i mean out of 10 out of 7 i think people uh who are testing a particular project right they don't communicate to the stakeholders what are the stakeholders they can be pm they can be your director of engineering they can be your qa lead right so they don't communicate the whatever the progress that they are making in their software testing right so it basically creates a risk of bugs efforts and estimates right uh, you have to share the test report and early feedback basically you can ask them okay this is the testing that i am doing are you okay with it no okay with it you can take the feedback right you can share your test reports you can tell them the risk that okay uh, there are these are the bugs these are the effort these are the estimates and that's that's uh, where they can plan their uh, testing cycle right they can they plan their development also so always always communicate with the stakeholder this is very important lesson that uh, or a quality of a software tester that i have learned recently uh, not recently i mean uh, within my 8 years experience okay let's jump into the advice number 4 which is very very important i think this is super important and let me take uh, tell you what exactly it is it is take responsibilities take a little help from manager it basically says that take the responsibility you have to own the product that you are testing okay uh, so basically manager love it when you complete the task and own a project without their involvement this is actually the lesson that i have learned from one of my manager who's uh, not one of i mean two or three repairer that i had right they always say if you own the project and i am not involving in that project it basically means you are fully handling that project it's good right they will start believing that you can do it and they will give you more exciting or a quality work because they trust you now right they you, you they trust you that you can own a product 
you can deliver the quality and uh, you don't take help you take very little help right you will get more respect and a better recognition recognition right so that's what i'm telling taking little help i mean you don't have to like okay i'll not take any help from my manager i'll have take help from my colleagues always no you can take a help from the manager but take a little bit or enough where they think uh, you are still owning the project and they are little involved that's why so this is very important advice that's why i have marked with this and a bold it is bold if you say right awesome uh, advice number five which is basically solve the real problems and do pocs which is very important you don't forget this uh, discuss with other other team members their challenges and solve them this is very important you can discuss with the other team members and you can solve the real problem that you are facing i have started my own automation journey with that trust me if you know my story i was a manual tester and uh, i saw the couple of uh, people are doing some excel autom some not automation ex some work in excel i started automating excel with vba scripts and all that's how my automation journey started and it was same solving the real problems uh, discussing with the team and solving it that it was a solution to the other team at at the time share your knowledge which is very important right right now even i am sharing the knowledge with you guys uh, learn from other frameworks test reports and how they communicate so basically other teams are doing better trust me they are doing something better you can learn from them what are the framework test reports or communication that they are doing you can communicate with them and uh, learn from them uh, even if right now if you see uh, in my previous organization right couple of people in the different team in same automation they are doing a better something right they are they are at they are better at reporting someone was better at uh, managing pojos or managing uh, page objects right so we can learn from them so that's what i'm saying Uh, do POCs and solve the real problem if possible. So these are the five advice which will basically I will say more more over like a qualities for important qualities for a good tester. I hope you have learned something new in this video. If yes, please make sure you like give a like and thanks a lot. This is this is your host Pramod. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.